Hey, welcome back to Two Sheet One Wheat. I am Chrissy, and today I have a new segment for you, so stay tuned. Video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. So like I said, I have a new segment today, I think, to kind of get more on like a personal level with you guys. Because of YouTube, you kind of only see the videos that I put out and the games that I put out, not necessarily games that I've been playing or that I'm into. So to keep it more on like a personal note, I thought maybe I would do kind of like a monthly wrap up video. Um, so this is the first video and it's airing today, which is the first, not that I'm recording it today. <laughs> So anyway, um, so I guess this is just going to be the August wrap up. Um, so a few things that are new with the channel. Um, I did do a, well, uh, actually August 1st was the first new thing that happened on the channel, which was Girls Night, um, which I'm hoping to get that um, going a little bit more, maybe get some different people over, um, things like that. Not exactly sure how that's going to be working out though because where I am, um, COVID numbers are rising. Uh, so who knows if I'll be able to actually get anybody over to record any of those videos. Um, and then just the previous video to this one was another new segment, um, Sheep Encounters, where I had Bored Dad and Redford on the channel. Um, that was also, that was pretty cool and fun. Um, hoping to, maybe if I'm not able to get any um, girls over for girls night, um, kind of hoping to continue that one, um, maybe for right now, um, have different people on the channel, maybe keep it as top 10 lists, maybe not, maybe just have like interview type style. I'm not really sure, just testing the waters out with that one. Um, and then third news with the channel is these wrap up videos. Uh, and like I said, just to kind of, I don't know, if you're not over on Instagram, which is where I am too, um, which is a little bit more personal. I share pictures and videos of games that I'm playing right now. It's just a little bit more personal over there. So if you don't follow me on there, great chance to follow me there. Um, I'll post my information right here or you can check it out uh, down below, I think, is where I'll have it. Um, so if you're not over there, you don't really get to see any of that like personal stuff that I'm doing. Um, so I'm hoping by having these videos that that'll kind of change as I, I think I put enough personality into my videos, but this way at least you kind of know what's kind of what happened, what's going on, what's new, what's not, what I'm excited for, what I'm not, <laughs> kind of those types of things. Um, so those are the three new things on the channel that's going on right now. Um, I wanted to touch a little bit on the Shelf of Shame. Uh, Nick and I pushed a bunch of those out. Um, we have 12 remaining. So we were able to get eight um, of those games done. Uh, so the first one that we played, well, not necessarily. I just wrote them down just to, they're not in any order. Uh, so we played Tricarian. Tricarian was pretty good. Um, we did only get that played one time. Um, the rules were a little confusing. Not confusing, it felt like it was a lot. So it took us a little bit to learn that game. Um, but once we played, it was pretty cool. Um, definitely love the artwork and the theme to everything about uh, Tricarian. Still trying to get our hands on the expansion. Haven't been able to find that yet. Um, so that was one of them. And then we played Near and Far and Above and Below. Um, how many, I think, uh, near and far, we got that played one time. We just got that first scenario down. Um, it was pretty late in the night. So we just did that one. I enjoyed that one, I think, probably the most. Um, and Nick enjoyed Above and Below a little bit more. We got, ooh, I think, two, three games of that one in. That one was pretty fun, too, um, but I lost. So, of course, I'm going to pick um, Near and Far <laughs> instead of Above and Below if I lost. Uh, so we got those, and then we did get Search for Planet X, which I kicked butt at that. Um, it's basically like process of elimination in that game, uh, which I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty good at, obviously, because I won the first game. Um, but we'll see. We only got to play that one game. And we played it at four players, which is pretty cool. And I like that you just, everybody gets their own phone, that they can do whatever they want with it. Uh, so, yeah, Search for Planet X was pretty fun. Um, and then we got, oh, Villagers. We finally got that one done. Um, it did take us very long to play that game. Uh, I think we got, like, three games in. 
that night, three games in, I think. And that was pretty close. I've, it's been a while. It's been a while, so I don't even remember who won that game. Um, but the games are pretty fun. I'd play that one again, definitely. Just kind of something quick and not necessarily too quick, I guess. It was probably about like half an hour, I would say. Uh, so that one was fun. That one was fun. Um, and then, oh, we got War of Whispers in. Um, that was a little bit different. I'm not really into like area control and things like that, but I guess mentally it put a different spin on it for me. So I wasn't feeling too attacked in that game. Um, the artwork really, really neat on that game too. Um, and then we played, oh, Rocket Men. We played Rocket Men. Um, that was a very tight game, very tight. Um, you're basically just working your way up, um, to have your ship, uh, go and visit like Mars or Earth and the moon, I think, and different ways to, different ways to get there. Um, and there's a point system for that one too. I was very close to winning, very close. I think I lost by one point right at the end like that. So, uh, that one was fun. And then, uh, Kalis, um, where's that one? Yeah, Kalis, um. That one was fun too. Um, I don't mind worker placements. Uh, the thing with worker placements with me is too many decisions. <laughs> so I felt that a little bit with that one, but it was pretty neat because you're just building up your road. Um, not the road, I guess, building up little villages and things like that along the river. Um, so that was kind of cool, a really nifty way of how it all works and everything like that. Uh, I definitely, I enjoyed that one too. I like the artwork and everything. It was a little bit like, um, I don't know. I don't know what that type of artwork is for me, what it makes me feel like. Like, I don't want to say like old school, but like, I don't know. Kind of makes it cool because it's like farming and things like that too for the theme. So I enjoyed that one. Um, so those are the ones that we got played. So those were eight games. So there is still 12 left um, off of the original Shelf of Shame. Um, so newly added to the Shelf of Shame is Hall of the Mountain King. Um, that one's by Burnt Island Games. We haven't touched it. It looks cool. I want to play it, um, but we just haven't really gotten around to it. Um, and then the other one is Summoner War. Um, that is the second edition by Plaid Hat Games. Um, that one looks interesting. We just got that one in a couple of days ago, so we haven't really even looked at it. Um, definitely cool how you're like putting the cards down on the board and um, you're basically just, from what I understand anyway, uh, is just uh, trying to battle the opponent because it is just a two-player game. So that one seems cool too. Um, the characters look really cool on that one. Um, and then we got Raiders of Scythia, which um, I've wanted because of Hadrian's Wall. It looks obviously very similar because, um, oh, this one is from Garfield Games. Um, and the artwork, it, very similar to all of their other games. So that one I'm really looking forward to too. Um, just a different approach, I guess, from their flipping right for the uh, Hadrian as well. So I'm excited to play that one. Um, and then our fourth one that we got that we added to our Shelf of Shame is Warp's Edge. Um, so you're basically just fighting your way, trying to like kill the mothership. Um, so it is a uh, space theme solo game. So Nick actually took this one to work. So I guess technically not on our Shelf of Shame, but technically because I haven't played it yet. Um, we got that one in the mail, I think, the same day that he left for work. So he snuck that into his suitcase and off he went without me even knowing. I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset about it. So anyways, those are four that we added to our shelf of shame. Um, but we did get two new games that we did play. So the first one is Super Mario uh, Labyrinth, which um, shout out to Crystal at App2 Games because she said that it was an awesome fun game and my son wanted it, so we bought it. Um, we've played it a couple of times and he hasn't won. Finally, somebody that I will always win against. For now, I'm sure he will learn some tricks and um, eventually kick my butt just like dad. Uh, so we did get that one. And then our other one that we got in is um, Terraforming Mars, the Ares Expedition. Um, I, we've played that one twice so far. Um, I got a couple more games that we've got to get played. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that one just because it is coming up in my next video, the next two videos, I think. Going to get a, an overview and a review out and then a 
solo playthrough. Don't tell anybody. It's supposed to be a surprise. Uh, so those are the two ones that we got um, that wasn't added to our shelf of shame. Um, and then I guess I'll just go over some of the games that we played throughout the month that um, not necessarily made any videos on, but um, just the games that are already in our collection that we got to play. Um, so Imperium Legends, that was the second time that we played that game. Um, I feel like that's a long game. It was about, what, two hours, I think, our first turn, and we only got halfway um, through the game, and I just had to call it quits because I think it was, like, past midnight, and I was like, I'm just, I'm just too tired. I'm not doing that. Um, so this one, it probably took around the same time, the same length, um, but we got it done. All right, maybe I should keep track of who wins. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to know who wins the games. I don't really know. I don't really remember who won. I'm just going to go and maybe safe bet to say Nick won. Um, but I enjoyed that one. I tried a little bit more of a difficult uh, deck. So that may have... Let's go with that is what hindered me. <laughs> so maybe give that one a go or maybe a different one. See what happens. Um, and then, well, you can't see it on camera, but Aquatica. We got Aquatica. We played Aquatica a bunch of times. A bunch of times, and I've talked about that. That's, what, two videos, three videos ahead of this one? Maybe four videos ahead of this one? I can link it here. There's two videos, an overview and review, and the playthrough for it. Um, really enjoyed that one. I can't tell you how many times we played that one. Day and night, we played that one. Um, really nice to look at, really fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, components are really nice too with those uh, sea creatures. Um, and then, oh, Draconis. Draconis Invasion, we played that one a whole bunch of times. I did make a video for that one too, but um, yeah, we've continued to play it. It's a good uh, deck building game. It's really fun. Um, Combo Clash. Uh, just a lighter, fun game. It's nice and vibrant. It's um, strategic, two players, like I've said in that video too. Um, oh, and then here's a new one that we did not make a video on. Um, Equinox? I keep wanting to say Equinox. So Equinox, um, probably not the best game for two players. Um, I enjoyed it. It's very beautiful, very, very beautiful. And it took some really good pictures um, that I posted over on Instagram. Um, and then we played Canvas. Canvas is a fun game too. Um, got that played a couple of times in one night. Um, very light, fun. I had some wine while we were playing. It was a fun time. Um, and then because we did get the um, Ares Expedition that we played Terraforming Mars, um, we got the big box. Uh, so we had the 3D tiles that we were playing with. Uh, I'm not really... I don't know how I feel about Terraforming Mars. I think I'd have to play. It's kind of one of those games for me anyway that I have to play a couple more times to get a strategy down and to really kind of like comprehend the whole game. Um, there's just too much going on, I feel like, and I'm trying to do a little bit of everything. Um, so, yeah, we played that one. I did not win that one at all. Um, but it was still fun and a lot nicer to look at now that we have the 3D tiles. Um, we have all of the expansions. Um, so we did add Prelude, I think we added, um, which made it a little bit different, gave you just a little bit more stuff at the beginning to help you out throughout the game. Uh, it didn't help me out. <laughs> That's okay. We'll work on it. We will work on it. So those are the games that we played that were already on our shelves that we already owned. Um, and then I guess we'll move on to some of the gaming news um, that was just kind of released. Um, I just kind of decided to make this video. So the news, the game news that I have is literally just from a couple days ago. So that would be the expansions for Moonrakers. Super excited about that. Tried to look it up. There's not too much out uh, right now on that. Um, so I'm not really sure what that entails. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be just as fun as the actual game, uh, Moonrakers. Uh, yeah, and then their new game that's going on Game Found, uh, which will be on their... I'm posting this video. We are watching it. Uh, it was posted on Game Found yesterday. Uh, so it's like um, students, I guess, and you're trying to get them in trouble and get caught. Um, and then you are trying not to get in trouble and caught. Um, so that one looks fun. A bunch of minis in that game. Um, I haven't looked into it too much. 
um, but pretty sure we may be backing that one. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, so I think that's it, really. I'm trying not to make too many cuts in this one. It's hard even after what, seven months of being on YouTube and making videos, it's still pretty hard uh, not to make any cuts. So I'm gonna try to be better. I have a little list this time and wrote everything down so that I didn't forget to talk about anything with you guys. Uh, so anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like this video. I'm gonna try to make one every month. I'm not too much into planning, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another one and like this video to let me know that you liked it. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks. Wait, what? What is happening? What is happening? I don't understand this.